so we hear you want to look classic and refined. You want that smart preppy appearance. The one that says you are of Ivy League caliber and are ready to take on the world. Thankfully, there's Schmancy, the place where we talk all things rich, exclusive, and fancy Schmancy. And today we're here to help you pull off this confidence style that reeks of old money and upper-class academia. So without further delay, here are the 25 rules to looking preppy as f Number 1. Wear pastel-colored tops, particularly button-down shirts, polos, and sweaters. Number 2. Make sure your polos come with the embroidered horse icon. It just makes things look official. Number 3. In the cooler seasons you can wear a sweater, be it a crew neck or v-neck. If your sweater's a cable knit, even better. An argyle sweater, now we're talking. A tennis sweater, and we'll really have to congratulate you. You seem to really have this down. Number 4. The v-neck cardigan. Now, if you can get one with any Ivy League school initial, you'll really be rocking that frat house look. Number 5. We recommend that every once in a while you wrap a sweater around your shoulders. You can tie it or just let the sleeves hang down. It's the ultimate in snobbery, and works for any season, in any setting. Whatever you do, just don't tie it around your waist. Number 6. Wear a tweed or flannel jacket. If you can get one with the elbow patches, even better. Number 7. Your shoes have to be loafers, oxfords, saddle shoes, boat shoes, or white sneakers. Number 8. In the summer, be sure to roll up your pants and wear your shoes with no socks. Number 9. Don the navy blue blazer. Consider one in wool or cotton. And it gets better when you add the gold buttons or an embroidered crest. Number 10. In the summer, wear shorts in bright colors or pastels. Number 11. Aviator or round sunglasses might also be helpful. Number 12. You should own several anchor bracelets, so that you can always embody the spirit of New England. Number 13. Wear a seersucker jacket. Scratch that. Make it seersucker anything. Number 14. Add to that a gingham, button-down shirt. Number 15. Men, do not under any circumstances cut your hair too short. You're gonna want to be able to part it to the side or slick it back. Number 16. Absolutely, no blue jeans. Instead, opt for chinos in all types of bright colors. The most popular are the khaki and Nantucket red for the fall and winter and whites and pastels in the summer. Now, if you absolutely must have your denim, just make sure they're either pastel colored or white. Number 17. Your belt should be woven, in striped colors, or a brown leather. Number 18. Your tie should be knitted, or striped with navy. Number 19. A bow tie will do the trick every time. They can be in madras, striped, or seersucker. However, make sure you follow the rest of the rules, as a small slip-up with the bow tie can easily land you in the hipster pile. Now of course, many of the rules mentioned so far, could be adopted by the preppy female. However, I think we can all agree that most are conducive to the preppy male. This is why these last few rules are strictly aimed at the preppy lady. Now, let's continue. Number 20. A tennis dress. And do your best to wear it with that sweater, wrapped around your shoulders. Number 21. The Lily Pulitzer dress. This is surely in a class of its own. Ladies, if you want to appear as if you have no idea what it's like to work for a living, you absolutely must get a hold of some Lily Pulitzer. Number 22. Horizontal stripes. They should be on your shirts, your sweaters, and even your dresses. Red and navy are the best ones. Number 23. A khaki or madras skirt that's knee length, or slightly above the knee. Number 24. Style your hair in a bob. And if you have longer hair, pull it back and get that side part going. Both styles will give you that Ivy-esque and intellectual look that you'll want to go after. 
And last, there's number 25. Quilted jackets for the winter months. If it's a Burberry, you get to fold up the sleeves, and let the world know that you can afford such things of upscale value. Perhaps a bit pretentious. But wouldn't you say that that's the entire point? And as a bonus for sticking around this long, we're giving you a list of all the places you can shop for all of your preppy items. Let's start with Ralph Lauren. Because truly, sometimes you want to look like you just got off a yacht. US Polo Association. This is if you can't afford Ralph Lauren. It's the next best way to have your embroidered horse. Then there's Brooks Brothers. Lacoste. Burberry of course. L.L. Bean. Vineyard Vines. This is if you want to look like you spend all your time in Nantucket, Hyannis Port, or Martha's Vineyard. Sperry. Land's End. Kyle James Patrick. For that, Newport Rhode Island look. J Press. The Andover Shop. Dockers. The place to get all your chinos. Lily Pulitzer. Banana Republic. J Crew. Gant. Eddie Bauer. Tommy Hilfiger. Nautica. Last, we highly suggest you raid your Ivy League college bookstore, as this is where you will find original school apparel straight from the source. These bookstores are the real deal. And that's it for the 25 rules to look preppy as f If there are any other style ideas that you feel should have made this list, then by all means please let us all know by leaving it in the comments below. Furthermore, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss out on another video. With that said, we'd like to thank you for watching. And we'll see each other next time.